There is precedent yeah, for I, this. And there's insane kill pressure in both lanes for Hojin and Kuro. Yes. So they're really going for a more early game focused composition. Uh -oh. Come down into the bottom side. Hojin wants this. He wants the delay in the yeah. barriers. Here we go. Kube got a little too greedy with the back timing there. He'll get stunned by the gold card. Smep should be able to come in for this. So actually, Kuro is just going to help pick that off with Hojin. Yeah, Kuve got a little too greedy with going back earlier rather than walking all the way back. They jumped out the mid lane. It gets clear, but it doesn't matter. They just want to take this turret at this point. This is really Hojin dangerous. and Kuro are coming in. Spell Shield used by Prey, but there's the Flash Pulverize. But the Wild Growth and Fury actually being knocked down and closer to the Lantern. Wild Card hits three members as Kuro comes in, flashes away. Smeb gets a nice kill after the teleport. Kuve comes in, but no Meganar in sight just yet. Crown gets gold carded. He's going to get stunned, knocked up by the Broken Winds. And there's the headbutt flash forward by Hojin. A nice rocket by Fury. Picks up one kill, though, and he gets excited, gets the zap. Boomerang not going to connect. Kuve trying to go in. There's a knockabout to Gorilla. Samsung might be able to turn this back around. Can they charge through, though? The gold card comes in. Kuve's getting really low, but there's the Meganar. Oh, right in the nick of time. <laughs> so close. Of course, Twist and Fate having some extra gold too. Eve showing up in lane. Luna looking for a possible jump onto the Tigers, but there's a Destiny Gate coming in right in the back line, and Kuro's gonna get a gold card onto Crown, and Luna's gonna go down. Fury is doing free damage, but no one left to protect the poor Jinx out front. Flank all the way around. There's no it's actually, wards. <laughs> it's actually going a lot longer than they thought, though, as Samsung decides just to push down that mid lane. Now the Koo Tigers should still be able to get this flank they wanted, but they find Smeb, so there's the Lantern out, and Luna being smoked by Hojin. Fury is protected by Crown, Luna, and Kuve. There's a Meganar coming in. Smeb is actually caught out a little bit. There's a knock to Smeb, and there's the ultimate backwards from Kuve. He's taking a lot of damage, but he will survive for now. The Mega Inferno Rocket not getting the kill just yet, but there we go. Fury gets excited as E picks up the kill. Prey joins in, but a three-man, four-man knockup as Gorilla goes down. Fury still bouncing back and forth, takes a lot of damage from the wild cards, but gets another one, will escape with the Whimsy away from the Boomerang Blade. A three to no kill. Win. Long time to regroup. It's going down decently quickly. There's the box by Luna. It actually denies Gorilla the entrance, and Hojin's going to get caught in the back. But Prey coming in with so much damage. There's the ultimate for Kuve, keeping him at bay. A nice wild growth, keeping Gorilla, Smep, and Prey knocked up. Fury gets one kill. He's guys excited. He got the whimsy. Oh, but the flash gold card from the side turns it around. Smep picks up a kill. A broken wind's knock up. And there's a gold card to pick up the kill onto Crown as E finally takes down Hojin. Just being shown and Gorilla walking towards them. Luna backing out a little bit. They need to make sure they don't get caught once again. Nice three man ultimate coming in from Hoja, but there's a knock up onto Gorilla. Gorilla caught way out in front. The damage now finally coming in for the Ku Tigers, but Samsung has also taken quite a bit of a hit. So they're going to have to back out once again. There's there's just nothing you can do right now about this Baron bait. Samsung over committing uh, to this. Hello, Luna. Hi. Destiny up, but Fury is way in the back lines. Uh, Koo Tiger's not in place to follow up. There's a three-man ultimate start. There's a Prey just charging forward with on the hunt. Crown has to use the Wild Growth to catch Kuro. Prey's going to get a kill. Kuro still alive with the Zonias. Hojin's going to pick up a kill onto Crown. Fury trying to do as much damage as he can from over the wall, but the Unbreakable Will will keep Gorilla alive. Kuve trying to just get the stuns and protect Fury. Fury's out of mana. So he can't shoot his rockets anymore. Tries to get one more crit down, but it's not enough damage. Do this. If there's a Rek'Sai in the enemy team, you have to run around in circles in the Baron pit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, Hojin gets the perfect flank. Fury will be able to lantern out, but Crown and Kuve are just going to get knocked back and forth. Gorilla with a double knockup with that Pulverize. A nice play to keep Fury alive. But here comes Smev. Gets one kill. The cooldowns are coming, but he's going to back out as he takes a crit to the face. Dragon 2. And Prey and Kuro in the bottom lane. Hojin's gonna hang out here a little bit behind. He's gonna get spotted by the tower, so he's putting down the threat. There's a teleport from Smep, too. They really want to secure this inhibitor. Teleport gonna be denied from Kuve, and a nice flash pulverized. Lantern cannot be taken as the entire team of the Tigers stand on top of it. Fury down. Can Ku Tigers end the game right here? Smep jumps in, gets the stun, gets a kill onto Crown. He's still going with the shield as he broken wings out of. The Nexus turrets and Gorilla just tanking him for one last second as the Ku Tigers push for the win in game three, a 35 minute game. 
Smith with another successful ribbon under his belt. And the Tigers win two to one. Wow. Well, the Tigers pulled it out in the end. It was a little bit dicey there for a while. Samsung actually putting up more of a fight today than I thought they would coming yeah. in at uh, having that really cool composition in game one and taking it to the limit in game.